Alrighty. So with this case, as you can see here a little bit more uh, closer up, we do have a 100% overlap, more or less. And we have some pretty extreme wear and also crowding on the lower anteriors with a very uneven anterior incisal plane where it'll be quite difficult to get an anterior midpoint stop fabricated with the current setup there. So what I want to do first really before I fabricate an appliance is really evaluate what I need to fabricate. So I look here and I can see some lingual wear on the maxillaries but it's really restricted to the, to the lingual side of the incisal table. If I look at how those match up I can guess with confidence I really don't think that this patient is going much past an edge-to-edge -edge position and the current measurements on the central incisors are about 10 millimeters. Now while that is a little bit below average that uh, I could probably contribute to some of this lingual wear and some unsupported facial enamel and those chipping off. So the first thing uh, that I want to do is decide you know, what type of appliance I'm going to make here. And I'm thinking that I'm probably going to be making a dual arch appliance. I'd like to make one appliance to even the lower anterior incisors. And in this case, I'm also going to make a maxillary appliance with a very small uh, lingual table there. For this patient, by and large, this is a protective appliance, although, and this is one of Dr. McDonald's patients, I do believe that there is a palliative component to this. At this time, there is no planned restorative that I'm aware of, but in this case, really, I'm just, uh, I'm just the hired lab help. So let's go ahead and see if in the next clip we can... Uh, we can get the lower model ready so that we can do the suck down appliance.